Over 1 million people in the state of New Jersey are food insecure. So about one in five New Jersey residents don't know where their next meal will come from. And those individuals can be anyone across the board. They can be individuals who are homeless, they can be the working poor, senior citizens, children. Our goal here at Rutgers Against Hunger is to really help those in need, whether it's through food donations or monetary donations, providing organizational support. We involve all of our campuses, um, all of our students, faculty, staff, um, and work with the food banks, food pantries, soup kitchens. Anything that we can do to assist agencies addressing hunger and those who suffer from hunger. The Supervan approached Rutgers Against Hunger about two years ago. Um, the founders of the Supervan wanted to work with Rutgers Against Hunger to help us in our mission of fighting hunger. The Supervan is Rutgers' first healthy, greaseless, gourmet food truck. We partnered up with Rutgers Against Hunger and Elijah's Promise Soup Kitchen. We try to source our food locally as much as possible. We have vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free options. Rutgers Student Sustainable Farm is one place that some of the tomatoes and the radishes and the cabbage come from. And the best part is, for every meal purchased, Supervan buys a meal for someone in the local soup kitchen. We loved the idea from the minute that we heard about it and wanted to get the Supervan here on campus. It really seemed a perfect fit for what we're trying to do and bringing a new capability to the program. So it's a great addition to Rutgers Against Hunger. With the van, uh, we create healthy, affordable food for people. They come and have lunch, and in doing so, they also buy a meal for somebody else in the local community uh, at the local soup kitchen. We um, run a community soup kitchen that serves uh, anybody in need uh, a meal, and a healthy, nutritious meal. Um, we do that with uh, scores of volunteers from across central New Jersey who give of their time and their energy and their resources to make that happen. And we also provide programs and services that unlock that potential for people to solve their own problems. And so we have a culinary arts job training program and a catering business and community restaurant that provide training and employment opportunities so that people can get on their feet. The people that we hire to work on the truck actually come out of a culinary school that is sponsored by the soup kitchen. And so, in essence, we use food as a tool to feed people and help people to feed themselves. It's to uh, provide the community with uh, basically affordable, healthy food, uh, and in doing so, allow people to do something good while they're having lunch. And what they do here is amazing. It really is. And I've never been to any other place that does this, so 